Howdy guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to another video of my Let's Play of West Land Survival. How are we doing? Hope you guys are well. So, there is uh, one of those uh, timed events and the old road is just over there which is a little bit out of my reach for now. But what I wanted to actually do is head over to this place again because I have been told that since the 6.4 update that the uh, Interflu is not that worth, well worth to go there anymore. Apparently the um, rewards is quite bad. So I actually want to show that today and see if that is actually a thing. Because I haven't actually gone here myself since uh, 6.4. So keen to see what this has in store for us. So we're going to do that today. Plus I want to head over to, uh, to Silverton and I want to drop some coins on the spin the wheel and see what we get from that. Actually, before we proceed, my fella is um, in not so good shape. Now he should be in good shape. We're up over 3000 in terms of um, HP. So this should be interesting in terms of how well we can actually uh, sustain ourselves here. So yeah, I'm keen to see how this all works out, but let's, um, let's do our bit and smash out these fellas. And I'll take a few things here and there that I feel like I, you know what, let's just, for now, let's just take everything. I say that before, and now I'm just sort of going back on my word, but let's just continue on. And there is some cy cypress boards that I forgot to um, take a bloody uh, axe with me. Look at me being all disorganized today. Now, we can actually go through here? Okay. Let's just quickly suss out um, everything else over this way before we um, head over and actually head into the main place. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, sure, let's just take that. The fang, look, honestly, the fang, I'm gonna leave it because I'm not gonna be bothered taking that because I've got so much fangs, it's not funny. And yeah, I'd rather just um, hang about and, you know, go for the actual stuff, the, the proper stuff, let's say. The stuff that means things for me. But yeah, look, how are you guys enjoying 6.4 update? Let me know in the comment section because <clears throat> I noticed this, uh, you know, look, like with any sort of updates, there are some pros, there are some cons, there are some this, there are some that. So I'm always keen to hear how you uh, guys are going with, uh, oh, hello. It's actually not too bad. I'll leave the, the backpack there because I really don't need it. Oh, you got a nice crit hit there. I actually enjoyed that. Very nice. Uh, notice I'm not getting any of the scrapped metal because I've got so much scrap metal. It's not funny. So we're just not going to deal with that. Let's just take that. We've got a destroyer. So we can dispatch him quickly, which we did, which is good. And we've got another destroyer on our case here. And the old shooter. And you know what? Not doing too bad with the S-Dub 2. I like. I am enjoying that. Actually, very nice. Very nice indeed. Now, we should be not too far away from the first, I guess, quote-unquote boss. So, we'll see what he or she has for us. I'll take those. Okay, Sniper. Yes, I do want to take you out first as a priority because they actually do quite a bit of damage. Okay, now the radar. Very good. Very good. Okay, so far so good. I think we're in okay shape at this stage. Leave that alone. What have you dropped over here? And let's just take all of that. All right, let's just switch over to this. Cause I'd rather, okay. Just dispatch him as quickly as possible. You know what, the blocks. Some people will think I'm mad that I'm not taking those blocks, but I've got so much blocks, not funny. So yeah, we're just gonna move on and just continue on with our little Raid. Alrighty, let's get over into here. Like I said, I wish I, I, I should, you know what, I, I keep forgetting. I need to bring axes and pickaxes because it's just free resources and I'm just not taking advantage of it, I feel. So, yeah, I really need to um, do the right thing with that. Okay, Raiders, get out of here. Destroyer. Doing 500 per hit, which is not too bad, actually. But so far, so good. I've only dropped in two heals, which is not too bad. 
I don't, I don't feel, I don't feel it's too bad actually. What do you guys think? Let me know. So far, two heals. I guess that sort of makes sense because, oh, nice. Um, you know, you've gone through one phase, which was the top side, the bottom side, which is the tunnel. So, you know, so far you're just needing the one little. Um, okay, you as good as dead. Thank you very much. Yes, all right, sick him. Now we're gonna have the watchdogs onto us, unfortunately. Okay, and very good. Actually, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I actually dispatched them quite quickly. Um, okay, here we go. We've got some more of these fellas here. It's good that I'm two-shotting these guys um, for the most part, which is good because, you know, I'm not sort of, you know, dicking around and, you know, trying to shoot these fellas. So it's quick. It's quick. It's easy. It's simple. And look what I get here. I don't think it's any consolation in me taking the copper axe because that thing's going to die as soon as I... Um, connect that to a cypress tree so I don't feel like that's worth it so let us uh, continue on but let's see if we can just take out some of these little NPCs here as I like to call them okay Mr. Bandit thank you switch over to the Schofield because the Schofield is going to give me the oomph I guess that I'm going to need to take out this fella you killed my man never forget this all right well you know what don't forget it because I'm just going to destroy you, my dude. And stop healing so I can kill you. Thank you very much. Well, you know what? Let's just take the marble. Let's take everything. And you know what? You're actually quite easy. I probably could have done this with all the, um, just with the, uh, what do you call it? With the SW2, I reckon. I reckon so. Actually, what's going on right here? Ooh, okay. Actually, that's one of the, um, the missions for the, um, Oh, hello. It's one of the missions for the um, Thanksgiving um, Battle Pass. There you go. Uh, let's just go ahead and take all. But what did I get here? Lens set. Okay, 8% chance to craft an item one level higher than the blueprint level. Compatible with the forge. Well, I think that's a good, that's a good find. And I've got some of these as well. So I don't see that being that bad I don't know what do you what do you guys think in the comments let me know I don't feel like that's too bad is it really I don't know I honestly don't know but what I do know is I want to go over back to my horse and drop a few things so we can uh, continue on and also I found a reasonable good pickaxe that we can actually utilize too so we're gonna be uh, um, doing that as well and just going back into the tunnel to um, you know, pick up a few resources here and there, so why why the hell not? And you know what, I'm just going to eat the corn because I've got so much corn back at base. It's not funny, so um, I laugh at that too, by the way. But yeah, I've got so much corn, don't need it. And that's probably going to take me to another point in my, um, in my escapades as well. So what I'm, gonna, what I'm trying to do as well is I want to spend a lot more time in the chromite mine okay so I've got so much um, well when I say I've got so much I really don't have that much but I've got a bit so I've got a bit of iron iron is good but what I've also got that I need right is I need a lot more chromite need a lot of um, steel so steel for me is a bit of a bottleneck so the thing about steel for me is there's a lot of upgrades that require uh, steel so I'm sort of at that stage if that makes sense so that's where I'm at at the minute. So with that being said, the, I guess the, the drawback for me is I'm utilizing a lot of my chests, my, um, not, not the large storage containers per se, but the small chests, right? So I need those, I guess, free and available. And I guess the reason for that is, and it sort of ties in with what I'm sort of trying to achieve is I'm trying to, um, enable myself to have a lot more freedom you know I don't need any of that do I um, I'm trying to enable freedom for things like uh, food production because I know for a lot of people the food production is um, I guess it's, it's a little bit difficult in, in some circumstances and what I mean by that as we're heading back to um, back to home because I want to drop a few things off is that with regards to I guess trying to get all of the um, uh, the crop fields on your base it's quite difficult and 
the easy outlet, which is the most expensive outlet, is to increase your um, your base space by purchasing, um, you know, via uh, cash or nuggets. I believe it's nuggets. And nuggets is a hard enough co uh, commodity if you don't have the um, the luxury of, a, of an alliance up and running, which at the moment I don't because there's, there's reasons to that, but we won't go there. But let's go to the forge, and I think it's the forge, is it, that, that's what I'm dropping in? So what I've got now, um, okay, so I've got the emery wheel, and then I've got the uh, the wheel work as well, okay. So there we go, so I've got those in, beautiful, okay. So potentially, I've got an 8% chance of making it a slightly higher tier. It's already at 1193, that's that's my best weapon there at the, at the minute, but yeah, interesting. But that was not a, a rare item either. So that was a, a a standard one, which I feel like is just, you know, your your bog standard. You're not, um, I guess, not the greatest. But anyway, it is what it is. Anyway, going back to the crops, right? So as you can see, I've got a lot of chests all around the base, all that sort of good stuff, right? But I don't have enough um, luxury in making the uh, the crop builds. So what I'm doing is I'm actually, I've got a lot of... Um, well, as you can see, I've got a lot of food everywhere, okay? So with that, the problem is that I'm running out of space. So I need more space. So in order for me to do that, I'm gonna upgrade all of my stations to um, accommodate that. So all those storage unit containers, whatever you wanna call them, that's what I gotta do. So I gotta increase all those storages and ensure that I have enough space to play around and enable myself to have all my crops and things like that in a free basis. And that also goes for food as well. So especially when I'm feeding my, um, uh, what do you call it? All of my pets. That's the other thing as well. So, okay, so like I said, I'm here up and I wanna drop a lot of money and purchasing a few of these bad boys. So let's do that. So that's about 500 coin right there. Um, I wanna try and sort of, um, I guess, build up another uh, cluster of uh, tube so we can do another opening so I want to hold out and get that across the line at some stage but anyway uh, going back to it so I want to obviously try and make use of my pets um, which is one thing but also I want to try try to make utilization of my horses which is another thing so sort of are, they, are these guys roughhousing these guys are roughhousing what are you doing settle down settle down but anyway so let's go ahead and do a 10 spin up because I'm keen to try and get um, at least a stack of 100 of um, powder. That's what I want. I don't want it. Um, I don't care for the dynamite. It'd be nice, but I prefer to get the, um, the coal powder. Which right now I'm not having much luck. Which is uh, quite disappointing. But it is what it is, right? So we're getting fives at the most. I think I got 10 was the most. But it'd be nice if I actually got... Um, well, 10 was the most that I got. There you go. So there you go. So we'll get the reward delivered. We're going to do one more. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it doesn't matter. I'm just keen to see if I can get something out of it. And it just shows you, you know, what a thousand coins look like if you go ahead and drop that on this little spinning thingy doodle. But, um, yeah, it'd be nice if we actually got the, the hundy. The hundy would be nice. Be very, very nice. Okay, nothing much going on here, unfortunately. Up to the 8th and 9th. Oh, we're close, but we're just not getting it. Very disappointing. Look, I'm not going to go chasing it, because even doing that has given me quite a bit as well anyway. So I've got enough for a couple of stacks. Look, the reason why I want to sort of get... Um, that is I want to get my detail bench and allow me to create, create once I find it of course is the um, the nickel plated parts so I've got enough for a couple more and this is obviously going to enable me to um, repair or create a new weaponry and things like that so that's basically why I've done that uh, in the first place, but otherwise, um, yeah, that's basically it guys. I know it's probably a, maybe a little bit of a short uh, video today, which is fine. You know, I mean, look, I can make very long videos, but I don't want them to be, you know, fairly drawn out. So I rather sort of try and make them a little bit more compact and, you know, 
give you guys as much uh, content as possible. But um, did I already come here today? I've already been here today. So I'm trying to, and again, this is another thing coming up to what I was sort of discussing as well, is let's go back to base real quick and race over. So what I'm sort of trying to execute here is I'm trying to upgrade um, uh, my horse ranch and enable the ability for me to have a little bit uh, more flexibility with um, you know taming horses and things of that nature. So that's basically where I'm at. As you can see, I've, ha I've not touched the, uh, the cow or the chicken coop for various reasons because I've got so much food at the moment, it's just crazy. But the upgrade path for this one here, um, I've actually got, well, I'm one off actually, but I can effectively drop all of this in if I really want to, bar the nickel plated fastens, which I can do, as you can see there, and upgrade this bad boy to level four, which allows me 10 pets in, in the house. Um, but for this, this is what I really want to upgrade because this goes from five to eight horses. I'm pretty much halfway there, but this is where my bottleneck is, right? The steel aspect, and that's where I'm sort of, trying to upgrade a lot of bits and pieces as well and sort of trying to balance everything out um, in terms of what I want to upgrade and how I want to upgrade it. And then I'm nearly halfway there with the horse shoe allocation. So there's that as well. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. That's a little bit of an update on where I'm sort of at at the moment. Um, but otherwise, look, right now, um, I'm just sort of in that sort of phase where, you, you know, if I'm going to create more videos, there might be some just grinding videos and there might be of the similar fashion which I'm sort of trying not to do so I'm sort of trying to find other ways to I guess entertain you guys and give you guys other um, you know um, content as opposed to the same and all that sort of stuff so you might find some content that's going to be sort of thrown into it that's going to be fairly uh, I guess repetitive but I'm going to sort of try and mix it up as best as I can so hopefully you guys understand and um, hopefully you guys appreciate where I'm sort of coming from um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. Look, um, you know, you've got some intermediate, uh, interim, uh, events that pop up like the battle pass at the moment. Um, but again, you know, doing, doing some stuff there, there could be some content that I can make there just to sort of give you guys a, a bit of a day in the life as to what I do if I were to do it myself in, um, you know, in a battle pass sort of, uh, capacity, but otherwise, you know, it's going to be, you know, fairly the same, same. So I'm more interested in seeing what the next update is going to sort of give us uh, in terms of content wise. So that's going to be more interesting to me. Um, I could always do maybe some, um, some trials and things like that. And we can knock out some quest boards together. That could be something I could do as well. Actually, that, that might be a good, um, good venture because I could actually go for that. So I'll think about that. But anyway, um, that's enough rambling from me, but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about this one here. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Uh, what would you like me to see and do? But anyway guys, that's it for me. Thank you for watching, checking out the video. Please leave a like, share if you can. And if you guys are new to the channel or not and you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos. Alrighty guys, take it easy and as always, I will catch you guys in the next one.